right, we're ready to rock. They're doing the coin toss right now. Ready to start a Gianni game day doubleheader right here. Halftime update, USD is up 24 to nothing. On the very first offensive play, USD had a 65-yard touchdown from uh, Sinet to Michael Bandy. The USD offense has been really effective. They also had a 57-yard pass play from Sinet to a tight end Dalton Kincaid. The offense has really been pouring it on. They also had, uh, I believe, three sacks in the game. Uh, Harvard has been battling pretty tough, but they haven't really been able to get it going offensively. They had one really good drive, but then it got stalled when they uh, missed the field goal. Um, I also got on video a uh, about an 18-yard pass from um, Sinet to Alex Spinone, I believe uh, number 17. So that's it from the half. USD is up 24-0. to The flea flicker. Touchdown, Torero. McIntyre's kick is up in good. USD wins 31 to 23. They hold on to win. They hold on a vicious um, comeback by Harvard. They really stepped it up in the second half. They eliminated the penalties. They eliminated some of the defensive mistakes that they were making. And they really stepped it up on offense. USD could not stop the Harvard offense. They were making big plays all over the field. And they were really lucky to uh, win this game. On the first play of the second half for Harvard, they had a 75-yard uh, touchdown from Jake Smith to Cody Crest. And then, then things started to turn for the Crimson. Emilio Martinez did have a one-yard touchdown run. But then uh, Harvard started to get going. Jack Smith had a 14-yard touchdown to Kyle Klink. 
uh, with about 12 minutes to go. And then they had an 80 yard pass from Jake Smith to uh, Jack Cook that made it 31 20. Uh, Harvard had a field goal to pull within uh, one score to make it 31 23. Emilio Martinez fumbled and gave him the ball, so it started to look really bad for the Toreros. But then on the last drive of the game, Harvard had a two minute drill to go. They had two minutes with no timeouts. They were driving the ball, but then uh, the quarterback for Harvard threw an interception to number 22, Daniel Tolver, and that sealed the game for the Toreros, and they take home a victory, which a much needed victory after losing their first two games. So a very entertaining game. Had everybody sweating for the Toreros and had all the Harvard fans on the edge of their seat. Uh, really happy to see that everybody pretty much stayed at the stadium. Uh, it was a really great crowd today. A lot of Harvard fans came out and showed their support. A very good game to start off Gianni Game Day's doubleheader. Uh, thank you very much. I'm going to see you in just uh, maybe a couple hours at SDCCU Stadium for game two of my doubleheader between SDSU and Utah State. I'll see you later. Thank <laughs> you.